as the chief of this village, I request you to say something to YouTube. Yeah, we are recording, like right now. Hey, go away. Come on, say something. Something nice and, I don't know, lovable. Oh man, you're rude. Oh well, that leaves the introduction to myself. Uh, so welcome everybody, this is Kidra. And this is my second episode of the Minecraft LP. Now I've been thinking hard what to do as the next or for the next project and well I can't come can't come up with anything really so um, I kind of derped around here and checked my ender pearls and they're getting really low like this is all what I have left which is not much so I thought um, maybe it's time to finally make an enderman farm been thinking about this for quite a while um, and why not do it now? So I will get my stuff together and as soon as I'm ready I'll see you in the end. Alrighty, I hope I did get everything that I need. Uh, I even put full diamond on. Uh, just in case I want to play around with those endermen, although this server is uh, only on normal difficulty. But still, they, they do a whole lot of damage, so we gotta be careful about that. Now, I hope there are monsters nearby. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. What? Where's this guy? Ah, there we go. Can we sleep now? Yeah, I already did a run and forgot to set my spawn here. Now I ended up um, like at the spawn point of the server, so I had to, I had to, did quite a run back. Um, now I made a little staircase down here to show you where we want to build the farm. Alrighty, we're gonna go 150 blocks out there, so we uh, will get over the 128 that we need. So those endermans over here will despawn. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get started. Um, now, in my first episode, I got the feeling that. I didn't show a, a whole lot of building. Um, this is going to be a pretty boring part right now, but I'm trying to... Well, I, I will keep recording and I'm going to try to uh, show you a few clips so you get an idea of, of um, well, the, the process of, of, of this whole thing, uh, of the building process uh, from the very beginning to the end. Well, let's see how that turns out. So, I'll see you later.
Alrighty, there we have it. The current level is done. Uh, I'm not really sure if the the area is large enough. It should be though, because this is this is uh, a big place already. Um, I don't want to have it any bigger actually. Um, now, out of the clips you might have seen, I kind of messed up with uh, Clowstone. I had a spot in the middle here. <coughs> Sorry. Where the light level was still too low, uh, so I kind of put something in so it is still kind of symmetrical because I know that's gonna bug me if it's not at some point. Anyways, um, now I've been thinking about a way to put up an Enderman farm. I tried something in creative with uh, water um, that I actually, you know what, I'm gonna show you that right now. Now here you can see what I tried to to put up. Um, the plan here, or first of all, um, the way you set this up is um, you put ice blocks there and let them smelt by by some kind of light level. Like I put glowstone underneath um, until it was all uh, until it got back to water source, uh, sources. Um, the plan here was that Enderman should spawn in between because there's enough room. And uh, then eventually walk into the water and damage themselves. Now I know they will pour it out, but since there's basically no way they can pour that, uh, they should pour it somewhere in between those water plugs once again, and the process just uh, keeps repeating itself until it until they're dead. Um, but uh, that's not working at all. I mean, first problem is. When this is all ice, they can spawn like in between here, like right here. This is possible. But when this is water, they can't. I have no idea why, but just check it over here. That iron block marks the spot that I'm far enough to way, uh, far enough away. They could spawn on that platform over there. And as you can see, nothing happens. But they do spawn on that little spot over there. So, well, I had to get I uh, had to give up on that <laughs> quite early. So, back to when you plan. The Enderman farms that I've seen so far, they were pretty much uh, uh, built by the same concept. Um, you go up far enough so that when Enderman drop down, either get uh, killed right away or stay there with half a heart. And uh, the way they get dropped down is pretty much um, you go like this, um, have a sticky piston, um, pushing a, a solid block that is triggered by a pressure plate and the whole thing is connected by this repeater. So if they step on this, or rather spawn right there, they get pushed off. Um, this is uh, working flawless. It's a good system. Um, you need a lot of resources, though. Um, that would not be the problem. Like right here, I'd I'd have enough stuff. Uh, that's not that's not the big deal. But um, you know, since I've seen this already, uh, I just I just don't want to copy it. And uh, I try to came up with uh, something new. Maybe make it a little bit more effective. I'm not sure yet but um, let me show you the idea that I wanna um, that I have here now what we wanna do is um, like just gonna set this up as I have it in my mind now let me see um, this is uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna explain that in a second <laughs> so don't worry uh, we're gonna do this, this. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, we need to get rid of that and that. Now the plan here is um, like those blocks. This would be like a large line, uh, and those others as well. 
So um, those blocks are the, is the spawning area, as well as the ones above here. Um, so they, they, the endermen are supposed to spawn on here. And what we're going to do then is, uh, on one side, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet, but we are going to... Actually, we need a block right there, I guess. Um, on one side, uh, we're going to trigger the whole thing. And we're going to do so by uh, putting a piston right here. And we're just going to assume that I'd have a, a contraption set up here um, that is going to be, be triggered in some way, I don't know yet, but uh, in some way by, by an enderman. Um, and will push out, or will rather trigger this piston, so that the whole thing is gonna get pushed further. That will cause the endermen on those blocks to get pushed off, and the ones that were standing on this spot, like right here, they just uh, they will not get pushed, but they lose their ground and drop as well. So. If this works out as I think it should, um, we'd have a large spawning area, pretty much everything up there. And we could uh, make this 12, well, a maximum of 12 blocks wide, but, you know, it would be easy to, oh, not like this, to put just an, Jesus, like this, uh, put another a uh, line on the other side and, and trigger it maybe from both sides so that there's a higher chance um, for them to get pushed off. Uh, now, now I know, or I rather assume that um, there's a good chance that a lot of endermen will spawn until one finally gets on that spot where we want to push everything off. Um, but that's that's not a big deal, you know? Um, there's no reason why why they have to keep falling down one by one. I mean, we can collect a few and and then drop them all at once. We'll just see how that how that turns out. And yeah, by the way, um, we'd have a we can actually set this up like let me see um, like this and. Could, you know, we could uh, put a torch here. Like that block is in uh, in the default state over here, and this one here, the the open fence gate, will be over there, not powering or not getting powered by the torch, rather. So we can uh, get this signal out once this gets pushed from over the uh, well, like from in this direction, from left to right. Jesus, just use words. Anyways, um, we just gotta delay this a bit. Let me see. Uh, maybe like like this. Now a signal is one. Yeah, what's this enderman doing over there? Anyways, um, so a signal is one second long. So we're gonna do this slightly longer. There we go. Now that's looking good. So if the whole thing gets triggered, it's going to get pushed and pushed back. Well, just going to see how that works out. Now I will start um, setting this up way up there. <laughs> and um, yeah, if anything, uh, if I come up with uh, well something new that is like different from this here, I will show you this uh, right away.
damn it. Oh, this sucks. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alrighty, uh, we got one done, like one of um, one of four blocks like this. Uh, the plan is to well, actually, um, let me show you how this works first. Uh, so we're gonna press the button. There we go. Uh, you 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 could see a, a door closing there that is because of the of the torch that I need to re-trigger the whole thing I might have to live with that but on every on every second um, well cycle this should open again like closing open closing open that should be fine um, I was gonna say, what was I gonna say? I lost my thought. Oh yeah, right. Um, now the thing that's missing is um, something that that um, triggers the whole thing, um, but that has to be caused by by some Enderman. So what I thought was, I might try to um, 
make use of tripwires again and just uh, make a trip a trip wire setup from over there to over there just a line so that they walk through or if one of those walks through um, that they that the whole thing uh, gets triggered I have the feeling though that uh, now if I push this button you can see this is a whole s this is extended too long like if for some reason um, I don't know this gets kind of double triggered or something I, I mean you you gotta think of um, you have a, a setup um, um, something that triggers a redstone signal that is usually one second long so um, there's one second um, of, 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 of time that well or rather in in that time period another enderman could walk through um, or, or respawn something like that and and but well, it just could it's hard to explain but I get the feeling that this could, uh, could cause a lot of trouble so um, I might think of uh, making a mono stable circuit over here so that this just gets an impulse of like one redstone tick or something so it just pushes uh, the whole thing in, in, a, in, in, in a tenth of a second um, yeah but we'll see on that I just wanted to give you a quick update so this seems to be working um, and uh, I'll get back to you alrighty um, I put something up and uh, see for yourself so you could have uh, well, it was kinda hard to see but um, you saw me putting up those ladders I did that because while I was building the whole thing I pushed endermen down that were my way and uh, that happened like from the level like from this level over here and I made this level like the um, it's 43 blocks so to say and that is pretty much the the highest you can make it so that they don't die when they fall so I put ladders on, this, on the sides here so if they fall down they get they touch the ladders and um, their fall damage gets recalculated from from like right there uh, but that kinda makes them uh, get stuck as you can see that enderman maybe over here he seems to be like falling off but maybe he's standing on the ladder it's not working a hundred percent perfect but as you can see we do get quite a lot of endermen and they all die with one hit now we actually do get that many that I'm not even sure if I should put up more of those um, of those areas because that right now it's just one fourth of what I was of what I planned to do um, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, well, it's working. <laughs> That's the most important part. So, um, let me just, let me just uh, think about what I'm, what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, the episode is getting kind of long. Um, I just wanted to show you once more how this works. Um, just got to be careful not to look at an enderman up here. Um, so, they walk no actually it is jammed right now damn it <laughs> yeah that is uh now as you can see um now it's now it's off get it oh no wait it's completely jammed up what happened ah okay big problem as you can see over there the redstone is uh, powered, but um, yeah, it jammed up. So I have to make some uh, 
yeah, um, some improvements to this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do that actually, right? Might need to watch that for a little longer. I might get back to you once more. As you can see, pretty good here now. Like some endermen don't fall off. So those ladders do keep them from falling off. Um, don't know, maybe vines. But they, I think vines work the same way as ladders as far as I know. So that, well, as you could see, sometimes it works then. It's not, it's not that much of a problem that it doesn't work all the time. What I did back there now was um, I installed another monostable, monostable circuit so that um, the re-trigger of that whole thing um, goes faster as well. Uh, I've watched it for a while, no problem so far, but um, well, I can't tell for sure if that uh, did get rid of all the problems. Um, yeah, but since this episode is getting kind of long, um, I think I will end it here. I mean, the basic, uh, the basic concept, uh, it does work. That's that's a good. Um, well, well, that is good, <laughs> to put it that way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of design. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I might as well, oh by the way, uh, now that I think of it, um, all those half slabs or slabs that you see around here, um, they're just to uh, well, prevent them from spawning on spots where I don't want them to spawn, like, whoa, <laughs> like this redstone down here, like right here, and they could spawn on that, so I, I kind of have to cover that. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Right, um, I might extend that um, and fully set it up as I planned it um, at the beginning. I will see about that, I don't know yet. Um, if I do so, I will of course uh, show this in a later episode. Um, but apart from that, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I guess I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Oh yeah, right, I forgot something. Um, Nobody lives forever!